Sarah Breckridge, and you're watching Chic.TV. So anyway, Laura, you're looking lovely, and you're actually wearing my favorite color. Uh, who's the designer here? Uh, Tara Dramon. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you talk about the impact, actually, that your show, that Gossip Girl, has on fashion and the viewers? I mean, you come out with the latest styles on the show, and how does, how does that affect you? Yeah, I think it also, Gossip Girl, when I first booked the show and how to go for my, my fitting, the wardrobe room was a girl's dream. I walked in and it was a, like two-story warehouse type of thing, just wall-to-wall -wall clothing, and they told me to sit down while I was waiting, and there were just purses at my feet from all these designers, oh <laughs> and I was God. like, oh! Um, and do you get to keep any? No, I did not, but they, uh, they, they're just really, they get fashion and they get how much it means to a character, which is wonderful, because my character was from, um, Des Moines, Iowa, and she was a teacher, so I wasn't wearing Chanel and, and whatnot, so I was wearing very much Banana Republic and brown colors, and then as I progressed and started having an affair, I started wearing jewel tones, and I really, whenever I uh, play a character, I think a lot about what, what they wear, and I think Gossip Girl embraces that and takes it to a whole new level, which... Well, it definitely shows a lot about a character's personality, and our personalities as, um, as yeah. ourselves. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's it's wonderful. So when you're not working, what do you normally wear? What do I normally wear? Um, well, I'm a really big dress person. I love dresses. I love sundresses. I love vintage finds. I go through vintage stores or flea markets all the time. I also go through my mom and my grandmother's closet. You usually see me in a dress before you see me in jeans, but I like jeans as well. It's usually dress and sweatpants. <laughs>